City dealing with an uptick in violence. In fact, there were five shootings between Friday and Sunday. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live at police headquarters with more on how the victims are doing and also the community response. Hi, Aya. Hi there, Aaron. Unfortunately, nobody was killed, but a total of seven people were injured. And at this point, police believe the shootings were all over separate personal disputes. One weekend, five separate shootings and seven people struck by bullets. You think of seven victims, um, some of those victims had multiple gunshot wounds, so very fortunate that, that they didn't turn to a homicide. It was a busy weekend for Hartford police as detectives responded to one shooting after another. Investigators already making progress in identifying some of the suspects. During the summer months, police typically see an uptick in violence and respond accordingly. It's just more units on the street. It's a uh, it's it, there's overtime assignments, um, especially in hotspots. Um, so we'll direct our resources there to those spots and uh, just try to saturate the area. Police responded to two double shootings, one on Weathersfield Avenue Saturday night, the other on Sims Street Sunday night. At this point, investigators do not believe the shootings are connected. There are a lot of ways that we can solve problems without shooting people. So far this year, there have been 84 shootings in Hartford. This time last year, there were 91. I believe that if we was to make a concrete effort uh, to uh, intertwine with each other, communicate a little bit better with each other, we can solve some of these shootings. We can stop some of these shootings. Reverend Henry Brown is calling on people to say something if they see something. A lot of people feel like if they tell on somebody, it's the wrong thing to do. But I'm telling people out there, and I hope people are listening to me, when you tell what you know, what you see, it saves people lives. And to honor those who've lost their lives to gun violence, Mothers United Against Violence is holding its 16th annual Day of Remembrance. That'll take place this Sunday from 3 to 7 p.m. at Sigourney Square Park. Reporting live in Hartford, A. Channel 3 Eyewitness News.